Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with the Dutch edition from the Mythographical uh, Color and Discover series by Joseph Kettenbang. This one is the animals one and in Dutch it's called Dieren. And on the cover it's beautiful with golden foil or foiling. The back is without uh, this special effect, but it's not a problem. We color inside, but it's always nice to pick up a book and see the shimmer. As a colorist, I love shimmer and glitter, as you know, so very happy with this beautiful book. Thank you very much to the publisher Mus Creative for giving me the opportunity to show my lovely subscribers what's inside the book, um, how the paper is, what we can expect from all the animals inside. Uh, they are um, lifelike creatures, but there are also some fantasy creatures, so it's very interesting. And we will dive straight in. So here is the title page. And as you can see, it's quite a busy book. Uh, Joseph is known for his busy books, but he's also known for his talent because take a look at this owl. It's wow, fantastic. I really like his art style. But I must confess, these pages are not for me, at least, to color straight away from A to Z because it's so much and there's so much going on. But from time to time, during other projects, coloring in this one is really nice, super nice. Now the paper is white and it's not a super thick paper. Mus Creative also uh, has published some um, Dutch editions from the Hannah Carlson books and there the paper is really, really thick. But I think that they are um, uh, following the publishing style from the other uh, publishers uh, and so that they are choosing the same kind of paper as the other ones do. Now, since the pa pages are uh, single-sided, it's no problem to use whatever medium you want. I've already started a page and tested some water media uh, out and except for some buck buckling, I don't have any problems with it. And there are many books that uh, show some buckling. So the first page, some koi fish. And as you can see, a lot of, lot of details, plants, um, everyday objects like this cup, uh, a blick of canned fish, a jar with something in it. There's a lot going on in his pages, but I'm really loving his art style. A rhino. And the longer you take a look at these pictures, the more you discover, which is obvious because you can't see everything straight away. Here is a fantasy creature, a unicorn, very beautiful. And I think when I will be coloring this one, so I love this one too, uh, I think I will use water-based media for the main part and do some uh, shading with pencil. Maybe I will use some um, alcohol-based markers as a base. We can choose whatever we want because there's no print on the other side. Just beware that you always cover up the page behind with some extra pages or a plastic foil or something so that you won't have bleed through on the other design. But this book really... Um, lets you be creative with different media. An owl, a little elephant, some wolves, I think. I don't think these are foxes. I think it, these are a pack of wolves. Now, I'm not always saying which animal that I'm seeing because I don't always know the English to, uh, translation for them. Seahorse. That I know. It's really, really beautiful. And I believe, if I remember correctly, he's self-taught. So, wow. If you can teach yourself to draw such things, whoa. 
beautiful line. This is also, I'm not going to tell at every page how beautiful it is because I will repeat myself constantly. But you, you know what I'm uh, I only, oh, this is a jellyfish, I think. Yeah, it's a jellyfish. I didn't see it at first, but it is. So I'm really happy to have this book in my collection and I will definitely be working on it. I also had to look very carefully what, what, what I was seeing, but it's a, I think it's a devil fish or I think it's called like that. It's nail. So it's really nice that he has combined animals as we know them together with uh, fantastical or mythical creatures. So you can decide to color them as we know them in nature or uh, you can also go wild and do whatever you want. But for people who like to color in the animals as they are in our nature, as we know them, it's also perfect. If you hear some ticking in the background, that's my little uh, yeah, ducky, or how I should call her. She's called Yenneke, you know. Maybe you know it that I've called her Yenneke, but when there's sun, there, it's with, an, uh, with a, a, a sun cell, or, or how do you call it in, in English? And when there's sun, it's uh, starting to move, so love this frog. Here you can go wild with chameleon. At least you, you can go wild with every picture if you want to. I'm wondering, is there anyone who has started to such kind of page from A to Z without uh, doing another project, another coloring project? I'm, I'm, I'm not, I, I can't do it. <laughs> I simply can't do it. This one is also a good one for practicing fur. I really have to uh, train myself in fur. Not very good at it. And this is the page that I started a little bit. So I decided to, I'm going to lift this book a bit up. I hope it's visible. Yes, it's a bit visible. I've decided to paint some of the finer leaves on this creature in metallic paint. And the body here is done with a supra color pencil, so also water-based. I will be shading with pencil on top and for all the other parts I'm deciding what I will do, marker or uh, continuing with water-based media or pencils, not sure yet, but I only have some buckle, there isn't a bleed through from the pencils and the buckling is quite alright, no or not a lot of issue, oh, yeah. in the background is also um, water-based pencils still have to work a bit on that as well extra shading and such but it's uh, I think it will be less time consuming if you work with um, some water-based media first so I will have to decide what to do uh, when I continue my my project
and these little plants or leaves are returning a lot those were my metallic painted leaves and I see them a lot in the other uh, pictures as well like on her belly and here a little bit this picture doesn't have these leaves but this one has but I think it's nice you can make it a, a, um, I don't know how you call it in English a red dread thread um, something continuous um, here it's called a rode draad uh, so that's one element that's always returning so I've decided to paint this my uh, leaves in the metallic pink if I want to I can decide to always do them in metallic pink that's what I, I mean but I don't know if it's called a red thread in English or is it just a, a, a Dutch um, meaning or, or a way of saying things but again I could wish or I could decide to paint it in metal uh, watercolor in the pink tone or I can do some things completely different same with these ones here so I think it's very nice that you can discover the same objects here and there and yeah that you can say for yourself I'm going to leave to do them all differently or I'm going to do them all the same in every picture so it's very nice and since it's a, a, a search and discover book you have on the back uh, the solutions with the things that you can find but I'm, uh, I'm coloring I'm not searching for things but it's a nice bonus if you're into uh, these kind of things So and it's there for all the pictures. This one is the note from the publisher. So and that was my presentation of the mythographic uh, book by Joseph Kettenbang, the Dutch edition. Very nice edition, as always. Mus delivers quality books. Um, I think they're a great publisher. I can't say anything else. Um, so. If you're looking for a nice book and if you want to support them you can always take a look to buy the Dutch version instead of another one and with that said I'm going to say goodbye for now and I hope I will see you soon in a new video thank you for watching bye